What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, a thing from third person. That's who we are. That's Mike and Chris. What's up? What's up, Chris? Sorry, Westworld. For... Westworld 7. Westworld Q&A review, episode 7. Past um, Pawn. What was the name? What was this? What is this? Past, past Pawn? Past Pawn. Get it? As in yes. past, but, the pe- but it's a play on past? Yeah, it's actually a oh. chess term pawn I, past I heard pawn. yes it is it's, it's when the pawn makes it to the other end of the table and they can become uh someone else they can, which is yeah, kinda, you can take a piece back yeah which is kind of the whole premise of you this take episode a piece back. yeah you take a piece yeah back. Uh, uh yeah so yeah. listen before we jump into this this whole entire bloody thing uh, a mm-hmm. couple things uh i put out a poll uh was the maven dolores fight the best this season that's what i wanted to know that's what inquiring minds of third person wanted to know. You mm-hmm. spoke in Facebook and in YouTube, and uh, Facebook's 100% yes from all the people who answered. Okay. Uh, 100%er. Um, YouTube, um, I think it was 50 50. Let me see. I think it. Let's see. Yep. Yeah, YouTube looked it was like just, it was 50 just, 50. It was just. It was just. It was just. Oops. Yay or nay, right? <clears throat> yeah, I wrote absolutely or nah. That's what I wanted to know. Or nah. I Let's see, because I believe it was more. I checked it, and there was more than just 50-50. Oh, for real? Community, yeah. All right. Um, oh, snibble, it's, snabble. I just looked it's through. absolutely or no. Nah. So we have 88%. 88, oh, we did. We had 88% on the YouTube. It says absolutely. 12% said no. Okay. Said no. Wow. Okay. I mean, I there's been a lot of – there's a lot of great fights. I thought it was – well, hold on now. Hold on. I'm going to make a comment. I'm going to make yeah. a comment. It may not be the popular. The action this season has not been great. It's had some interesting things happen, but it's been kind of pedestrian, dude. It's been like kind of boring. It hasn't been the best fights. The one where Caleb first fights with her and those cops stop them, those like crook, crooked cops, like th- yeah. that was that was kind of lame. And then even like the rocket launcher thing, like the coolest part about the whole thing was the bike. Um, Yeah, this fight, however... I thought was the best. This was no, sick was, as balls, was, man. Yeah, it was badass. And and honestly, um, after watching, you know, the uh, behind the scenes uh, after the end of the episodes, I didn't realize that Evan Rachel Wood was a black belt. She said she's too, a black so. belt in judo. Yeah. Yeah, so that's kind of cool. Um, she said that she was excited to show this off, and obviously the Maeve judo? character and the Dolores character. Taekwondo. I forget what she said. Uh, I yeah, I don't remember exactly. Taekwondo, which maybe, maybe form. Taekwondo. I think maybe Taekwondo. But just a black belt in general is is impressive. But again, uh, for for us to not really ever see Maeve and Dolores together, which they mentioned, oh, for they, them to get, yeah, they've never fight actually fought. And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But they really they said dope. that they really kept them away. Even in previous seasons, they really haven't oh, had them right. Yeah, they were together because yeah. they were all off doing their own. Yeah, true. Missions. True that. So it was cool to. It's always a cool thing. So if you guys aren't watching the end of the the Westworld episodes, stay a couple extra minutes and they'll show you like the behind the scenes of the episode. Yeah. It's really cool. Or or you could be uh or you know our friend John Darius so always he kind of puts those up in yeah the, John puts them up. So we and, appreciate uh, that for people who can't see it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I mean, so yeah, let's jump in. This was a good episode. We've got a bunch of questions. We'll we'll we're gonna jump right into them now. Yeah. Um. Just a you know. Uh, all right, let's let's just get into let's it. Let's get into it. Yeah. What so this got? is from this is from Rick in the Facebook group. He says, "Is Caleb really Dolores's pawn in the game, um, and is Maeve being played?" All right, I'll jump in oh, with this. Yeah, start it off. Yeah, of course he's a pawn. Of course he's her pawn. They said it. They said she actually can't initiate what she wants so that's why she's uh, Dolores. I'm talking about. So yeah, that's why it's a poetic. There's something poetic. Yeah. Um, so she in she, her. From the Dolores original Dolores character, that won't make her do it. Right. She yeah. The, something yeah. But and that Caleb was her plan, which was absolutely, interesting. Absolutely, right? she found. Yeah. I don't. Here's, here's the thing. I don't. Yeah. I don't think it was from the very start. I think she was formulating this plan throughout the whole season. She had to get to the you know Rehoboam. She had to get to Liam. She had to figure this out. She had to put the you know she had to get Martin in place. She had to get you know. Um, Musashi in place like she 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 had the, the beginnings of this thing she didn't know what until Caleb showed up and she realized I think after seeing what Ryobum did and what it does and what and yeah. what they said about him oh I can use this guy he's the perfect guy he's an outlier so yeah so he's absolutely a pawn she says oh we have to we have to get something that you lost that they yeah. took from you she said and it was himself it was his memories it was the fact that you know I mean We'll get to Maeve in a second. Um, 
and I have a point to make, but what you, you think you agree he's a pawn? Uh, I mean, it seems to be that way. I'm going to kind of disagree a little bit in the beginning. Um, I did think that she knew that Caleb was like the, the finishing point of the plan. Like I knew she knew Before she that she needed him. No. Yeah. Maybe, I'm maybe saying, even maybe she no. knew his, she knew all the information before, you know, she, she, um, op- awoke him. She knew of his past. She knew that well, only Solomon, after she did the search. No, for but him. she knew that Solomon was going to have all this information too. No, I know that. But I mean, after, but only after, only after she met him, did she, did she figure this all out? Did Unless she, she, she could knew he him? was going to be in that place. She could have known that Caleb was going to be there. <gasps> You're right. And actually, let me make my point now before we go any further. You're actually right because we find out that Rehobo made this the GTA app yeah. for outliers to control yeah. them, to use them to his advantage to incise chaos and, and unrest and, and put people in that. So you know what? You're absolutely right. The fact that she... She might have known then. She might have known that yeah. he was the one that got the contract or whatever and was ma- – and went, yeah, you know what? Yeah, now it makes – you're right. Yeah. Okay. So maybe yeah, you're she right. Maybe she, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't gain any other real information about him. Yeah. She already knew about his past. She already knew what Solomon was going to tell or maybe, him. Or maybe she knew whoever accepted the contract. I don't remember if he got that specifically for him or if he just accepted it. I don't remember. I no, think he maybe, ac- yeah, he, he accepted it. He no, accepted. He, right. So, so it could have been anybody, but it just happened to yeah. be – Caleb. Yeah. Either way, she would have used whoever it was, Caleb or not. So, yeah. Anyway, yes. She's a pawn. Now, is May being played by who? Sorok? I guess by Sorok. Probably. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Of course she's yeah, being played. I, I agree because she's she's uh, vital. Um, she's a great he fighter. He can't get to... But the, the, the main reason, bro, is because he can't get to Dolores without exposing yeah. himself. She's She's already put him down at every fucking step. You yeah. know, so there's no way he can get even close to her. So he's got to use another host. And he's obviously, yeah. dude, Maeve, Maeve, I feel like Maeve might turn at some point before the ending here. I mean, the next, the last episode looks, it's only, it's only eight. Yeah, there's only one, which we were wrong. I mean, I was wrong. I should say, I assumed there was 10 because the last season there was 10 too. And yeah, right. then I'm, uh, I looked, I looked it up and I said, shit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So I don't know. All the right, thing so. is, the thing is, I think she might turn because you know, she's she's fighting him. But what is she, for? What she really wants to get her daughter? Like, I mean, I know yes, the answer is yes, but I'm just saying. I don't know. Anyway, I don't want to get too. I don't want to get too into weeds with it. But yeah. So yeah. So she's definitely being played. Um, yeah. l- let's move on to the next part. All right. Uh, yep. Next question, because uh, honestly, we could be in the weeds here. Um, our friend Nat asks, "What are Clementine and Hanarayu going to do with Mus- Musashi's head?" Um, or basically his pearl, essentially. Yeah. The, the 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 copy of Dolores. First of all, love seeing that they're both back. Love yeah. them. Love it. Love yeah. it. Love them. Those that fight was. The, I mean, it was. Awesome that was a fun too. fight. That yeah. this episode had really good fight. The, the, yeah. These the, these were the better the better fights of the season. Um, yeah, man. What do you what do you what do you think now that so who has that now? So Rock has that. <sighs> I mean, Sorak, obviously, I don't think that um, they're going to be dropping it on Dolores' door. That would be... It's the second you know, pearl maybe, that maybe, maybe the head, but not the pearl itself. So yeah, Sorak is yeah. going to use that pearl for something. Well, he had it um, once, and maybe, you know, maybe they're going to do the same time. I don't know. There's no time for that shit. There's no time. We got well, yeah. well, It looks like there's a lot happening. Yeah, it definitely looks like there's going to be a lot happening, especially since there's only one episode left. So we'll see. If, if there's going to be any uh, new host using that pearl again... Um, we'll probably see it rather quick within the episode. I don't think it's going to be a big building process. Um, uh, you know, a long a time a time uh, thing. We're over a couple episodes where this body's going to be made. It's going to just like be there, you know, as maybe, another soldier and maybe yeah. Maeve's maybe they'll try game. and turn. Maybe they'll try and turn that Dolores. Yeah. Yeah. We don't know much about that Dolores, though. We know a lot about the. Well, they'll just Dolores, destroy the pearl. Though. You know, or just, just destroy, destroy right, the yeah. pearl. I don't so. see much time, or hold it until <clears> next <throat> season or something. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what do we got next? Next question. Uh, all right, this is from True DL. Um, I know we're trying to we're moving face- a little fast, but I, we, yeah, we sometimes get a little in the weeds with these things. And there's a lot <laughs> to talk about. Uh, do you think the outliers, um, the outliers that we saw in, in the Solomon Center, uh, yeah. will be released as a part of this revolution? Um, so now remember, we saw at the end Dolores shuts the machine 
shut the She did the EMP, down. right? She used the EMP. So he, I'm he, assuming those bodies were now shut off too. Could they reanimate them or will they die in there? It depends if there's a backup. If, if, there, if there's a... Human beings. Well, don't forget. They, they weren't... I don't know. I, I mean, it is an EMP. Does it wipe out the whole station or is it just... The, yeah, where Solomon is, we saw we saw Solomon the actual sphere shut down. Yeah, too. well they shut down so, too. Here, you know, I yeah. want to let's let's just before we get into it, let's let's talk about that for a second. Um, yeah. Solomon was the one before Re Re Reobum, right? Yeah. And I think Reobum is the son of Solomon in history. Is is another king, but from King Solomon, I think it's a his son. I think um, if uh, my history was correct, but. What was cool about it is that Solomon had so much of Sarak's brother, who was yeah. who was schizophrenic, which yeah. is which made him schizophrenic, which is why they have him just doing that. The other thing I want to bring up, bro, is that Caleb again. Caleb was reconditioned. We finally got to see what's going on, what's what it's happened crazy. with Caleb, and the whole thing where he killed Francis, and like very yeah. very interesting the way they did it. I liked it. Yeah. Um, you know, so. But there like, was a line. There was a line that, like the the Solomon said, I forgot the exact words. But it was about like about uh, any amount of money can destroy friends or something like that. That he yeah, said, right, and yeah, it was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. like, damn, you know, yeah. because obviously Francis and Caleb were very close, and they were using Rico the app as a part of the you know um, Ciroc's plan, um, unwilling, un unknowing. You know, to catch these outliers, which was which was crazy. So they were big, you know, they were close friends, but it showed that that extra money and that man was right. The pharmaceutical company head was right about saying, hey, dude, he's probably getting a message right now to well, say that. So right. Well, well, the thing the thing with pay that you extra to, yeah, the thing with that is Caleb wouldn't have done that if he didn't if he didn't draw on him first. That's what happened. Caleb was just basically like stunned. Where Francis yeah. had already made that decision, and yeah. he was just stunned that his basically best friend, his brother, could turn yeah. on him like that. So that's why he shot him. He did it out of self defense, and then was like, "Ah, shit," you know? Yeah. Very, very cool. I don't know, man. Uh, yeah, it Aaron, was Aaron Paul doing a great. I love that kid, man. He's he's such yeah. a cool dude. Um, yeah. As far as the outliers, bro, it depends on. Well, okay. Let's let's take it back a second. What outliers? Because the outliers that were the that were supposed to be reconditioned or were in cryostasis, there's those. But what about what about? I was gonna say Jesse Pinkman, <laughs> but <laughs> Caleb. Sorry, wrong character he playing. But Caleb is an outlier, and so was but Francis, he's one, and so he's was one out of. But so but so are. Naked. But right, but so are the other. I think everyone that uses the Rico app is an outlier. That's the point. That's what that's what Solomon said. Yeah. They oh, repurposed. Yeah, no, no, they I... were all people that made it through out of the thousands of people, and these are the people that they're using the Rico app app for. So, yeah. Could they be using them? Yes. I think they're going to offer I think they'll offer the existing outliers like Caleb to fucking incite it's gonna the It's going to be about Yeah, it's going to be about like free like having free will having having a life of freedom to do what you want right. you're not to be stuck in this system that Sarak Cir created that you can only become who we want you to become well, well okay so, so it's a part of that life that that even dolores says she wants him uh caleb to to lead well let's not let's so, not let's not pretend anything here she doesn't give a shit about caleb she doesn't give a shit about anything i still don't i don't know man i mean she he's I listen hate, he's the weapon when she said i don't like seeing Del i don't like seeing dolores using him as a pawn dude you just because really, you don't, you don't like don't. it doesn't mean it ain't true brother i know i don't like that though, i know you get I very like, attached I, to these I, people i really you like her see, character no i, really I like, like i'm gonna be honest dude so who you like better this season maeve or dolores dolores i like maeve man i'm i love maeve um, Dolores is, don't get me wrong, Dolores is a conniving badass, but there's something about Maeve that's, yo, you gotta give it up to Tanya Newton too, man. Oh, no, no, dude. She's I mean, killing she's, it, she's, man. They're like, all fantastic. She's like, you know. They're really all fantastic. You and, couldn't ask for better people to be playing these roles. I love, you know? I love, I love Dolores and Maeve, but they're, they are my absolute two favorite, besides Teddy. Teddy was one of my favorite characters. Um, yeah. And, um, but dude, just, 
come on, man. Like she's 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 so freaking dope. Let's I there's a, all right. It's not so much a question as a comment on this, but John H says, "How crazy was Dolores' a sniper rifle?" Yeah, and I want to I want to expand that to how 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 crazy is her sniper rifle, and then the fact that um, Maeve hacked a drone. Yeah. So yeah. that whole fight, dude. Yeah, I mean that was just sick. That was just that was really, insane. really sick. The whole thing was like really just. The automated drone versus the the sniper rifle, and they're fighting, and yeah. they're just like, yeah. I was even initially when she scene. like released it from the hilltop. Oh yeah, you know when she and was with looking, Caleb, like, and what are you doing? And it's like flying through, and it's like scanning everything. Dude, it was just marking. marking. It just all marks people. everyone, and then the bullets and then all of a sudden, it's like bing, 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 bing. Yeah, like she knew exactly where everybody yeah. was going to be. Except she missed the guy, and Caleb was right. There was three guys in there. Yeah, there was, so it's just pretty. Yeah. It's a cool little 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 dig right there, saying Caleb knows what he's doing. You know. The tech that was crazy. Oh, what about what about yeah. in the in the flashback when they marked them and then he notices that his his oh. teammates marked? Yeah, that was that's pretty crazy, man. So they've been yeah, using this the, tech the, for the a missiles, long time. Man. The missiles from from the from a space station space up uh, in yes, yeah, orbit. It's so just, this dude, is it's all just like <laughs> it's not all just crazy stuff. But wait, we I, I, I want to talk about another a couple of other things that no one asked us or anything. First of all, uh, Bernard and Stubbs and um, William. William. Yeah. She is using William's blood to get like into the system. Tracker. Yeah, like a tracking yeah. to also know where he went to, they say. Yeah. So she's using that. And, she, you know, they're saying, you know, he's saying like he, Bernard is figuring all this stuff out. Now, Bernard went on his own accord, but it was because she wanted him. Like he didn't go because she wanted him to, but she led him there knowing that he would go because Bernard's like, you know, whatever. Dude, the fact that William was like, you know when found out that Stubbs was a host he's like god damn it you know yeah. he's like he's like fucking ford man yeah. fucking maniac he's like that guy was a maniac man um no i just i just you know that that's going to be pretty interesting you know when he it shows is, up, it, he's it, got the shotgun at the end and like you know that that's like kill me cool. kill me now or i'm going to kill you later kind of a thing yeah is, you know and the crazy. other thing i want to bring up is uh, i should have mentioned it earlier when we were talking about francis and caleb when they were doing that that job but they take limbics, which is that that thing we kept seeing that wafer that whatever thing yeah. they keep putting in their mouth. It's to dull their emotions so they could get the job done. That's just sick mm. stuff, man. I just yeah. love the mix of technology and people. You know what I mean? It's like it's exactly what would probably happen in this future, in in, in our you know real future. It's, you know, it's scary. I mean, it's scary to to in some in some ways yeah. the way the tech is shown on this show and especially it's the whole Ciroc and, and the whole it's plan. Like, yeah and oh, it's yeah. like there's something bigger than just the regular person that's that's guiding us in a certain way and it's almost similar to what what <laughs> what's going on now um and who may have control of what's going all the uh mm. situations uh, in the world now the yeah. big pharma and and the billionaires and who may it's a lot if you if you uh, let if a... you let yourself man you let yourself <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It, it'll it's, it'll it'll drive you insane that's why we just have to watch tv and talk about it instead because yeah. it's just <laughs> yeah it's but too the much. tech is always it's, it's it's really one of the things and i always mention this throughout this whole season so far and after the season two uh finale i was excited to see dolores in this new world and um i right, had no just, idea just, we had no idea what it was gonna be yeah and just just overall again the tech the what 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 they are doing in this is so legitimately um, realistic for us yeah. in this world that that the potential is there. That's so it's the really, next thing, man. It's the next yeah. thing. Um, all right. Real so to, to wrap this up, we've we've yeah. got a question from Brian mm -hmm. T. He wants to talk about this rumor. Mm -hmm. What's yeah, the rumor? theory? Oh, it's the a theory. theory. Now, rumor. I didn't really I mean, I just saw this question yesterday, so I didn't really have the time to um, no, just say it. Just say it. Look into it. Just say, but it's we'll about, about a theory it. that Caleb is another one of Sorok's brothers. Um, you know, I honestly I don't really have an answer to this because I didn't um, really look into uh, this as being a possibility. So I don't know if there's any hidden things that we missed or, part, or scenes that we missed or dialogue that we missed from Sorok or even his brother that may even give us a clue that there was someone else. And yeah. a little, we know that we know that there's something special about Caleb and we've said this and we've had questions about this in previous episodes. And, um, remember they said that only one out of 10 people get out of the program. And even William didn't, wasn't even one. He didn't even pass the program. Yeah. Look, I'm going to, so there's something, 
I, you know, I, listen, I'm going to say, I don't mess up anything, so. no, I'm going to, I'm going to say this. I'm going to say he's not his brother. There's no, there's no evidence that it's his brother. If there was a third brother, we would have seen, you, you can't just come up with a fucking like random thing out of nowhere. They, we've had no indication that he had a third brother. It was him and his brother that built yeah. these machines. That's it. It was him yeah. and his brother. Only two people. The rest of his family were destroyed and they were picked up by the government. When yeah. when Paris was destroyed, it was it Paris? But it was Paris. Yeah, it was Paris. When it was destroyed, it was him and his brother. That's it. So no. So we're not playing that stupid ass game. We're always gonna be bro no. <laughs> the other thing is, Caleb is special, yes, but Mikey only because yeah. he's wrong place, wrong time. He just happened to be the guy that answered the call and is now with Dolores. He doesn't have any connection to Ciroc. There's no intertwining bullshit. No, no, it has nothing yeah. to do with any of that. All it is is she's who he chose to be the weapon. They, Sol. She knew Solomon. I still, would... I still think she knew that. Fine. He was the one. I, do you know what? That's they, fine. they know. They this whole this whole world is connected to know where you normally go. She, that's how she knew what that's, restaurant that he went fine, to. Every... But again, I'm I'm just saying I'm just saying it. At, up to that point, yeah, it could have been anybody who answered that call, but it was him. So now it's him. She I'm knew he would answer that. She knew that she, someone would be there, and then no, I think she knew he would. All right, well, I, you know, we're gonna have to talk to <laughs> Nolan and Lisa Joy about that. I don't yeah, know. yeah, but I, I definitely think she knew he was the right, one. Either to, way, either to, way, to, to and we're it. gonna stop this. We're gonna end this up now. But either way, yeah, let's just. He's now the one. He's riled up enough to be like, "Fuck this." I'm killing everyone or whatever, yeah. whatever we don't, I don't know what the rest of the plan is or how he's supposed to do it. But anyway, it looks really good. I'm excited. This looks is really, really, and you see Dolores, Dolores looks like she's healed a bit. Sure. She got see? a new uh, body. Uh, she... Not Dolores. Um, um, Charlotte Dolores. Oh yeah. They did that. We did a weird thing where she was, mm, yeah, she was like I coming get... like partially repaired. Was she in a chamber? It looked like she was in like in a chamber. Or yeah. Something. I don't know. She Maybe was getting, getting healed. Sick. And anyway. so was and so was um, Dolores. Well, we, her well we see that we see that she's got she has the, a new arm, and they're putting skin on her skeletal. Yeah, so somehow structure. she wakes up and she gets her shit back. We'll see how yeah. that goes. All right, um, let's really end cool. this now. Really cool. um, great, great show. Good episode. Thank you to yeah. everyone for all the questions. We really appreciate Absolutely. it. We appreciate you talking with us and and interacting with us and giving us something to talk about. Um, yes, sir. Yeah. So. All right, so uh, write in the comment section below. Let us know what you guys are thinking. Let us know if you actually heard of this theory about Caleb's uh, Caleb being, if there's any kind of evidence behind it or anybody that really right, yeah. uh, got into it and maybe there's something that we missed. That would be kind of interesting to see. Thank you, everybody, who voted on the polls. Check us out a third-person yeah. pod on all the social media outlets. Um, again, we always post um, uh, on the Facebook group uh, as yep. well as our third-person page, uh, yep. you know, to get your questions in so we appreciate that stuff um again we have one more episode left of this series it's going to be really crazy because they tend to have a wide break from two years it's going to be another season. two years for season four so we're right probably now. exactly we're probably not going to see this for at least 2022 i'm assuming if they get if they if they get to recording within the next year even yeah uh, it's going to have to be over. yeah because nothing's yeah. doing everything's fucked right now so we'll see how this ends. ends you know, we'll yeah. see if if there's a cliffhanger or if Rehoboam is destroyed or the you know the outliers are are awoke and released. We, it's going to be really interesting to see what happens in this yep. final episode. So, yep. so stay tuned for that. Yep, that's it. Thanks everyone. We love you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Peace.